Thanks again for checking in as we take a look at your extreme weather outlook. I'm meteorologist Todd Nelson. We have a uh, severe weather update here for you, including tropical uh, conditions, uh, severe weather concerns, heavy rain and flooding also coming up. But this is a look at Franklin from early Monday. Uh, still a tropical storm and then churning west towards the Yucatan Peninsula in southeastern Mexico. Latest track still has it as a tropical storm there, uh, moving over the peninsula and then back into the Bay of Campeche still as a storm gusty winds and very heavy rainfall a possibility with that. So there's Franklin and then this particular wave has a low probability of tropical formation within the next five days. Also, another wave in the eastern Pacific, low probability of tropical formation there. Yesterday we had some funnel clouds out near uh, Minneapolis, some wind damage reports in Texas also through the uh, southeastern U.S. It does appear that today our best threat for severe weather is going to be found in the mid-Atlantic states, basically from eastern uh, portions of Virginia into the Delmarva Peninsula. There is an ice Related tornado risk, but damaging winds, the primary concern there. Uh, for tomorrow, a marginal risk of severe weather over southeastern Colorado moves into the Midwest as we head into Wednesday. Take a look at this corridor. A very heavy rain, though, stretching from the mid-Atlantic states into the southern U.S. This is going to be over a several-day time period, but we are talking some significant rainfall tallies of uh, maybe three to five inches in some of the heaviest amounts, but definitely uh, flash flood potential in these particular areas. Also to the southeast, some wide Widespread one to two, even three plus inch tallies in Jackson, and even some heavy rain for Boston, New York, down to Philly. There's your flash flood watches. Does include Dallas, Fort Worth today, up in the Mid Atlantic region, even some spots over the Intermountain West. Uh, snowfall again, actually seeing some snowfall in the high elevations of Colorado. Look at that, a little bit of snow there at Pikes Peak. Meanwhile, we still are dealing with western wildfires, and the wildfire concerns remain elevated today for a few locations in the western U.S.